Hi YouTube, um, today I'm going to be doing a knife review. Um, as you've probably seen from the title, I'm going to be doing the, in my opinion, the best knife for the cheapest price that you can buy in the UK. I've owned a lot of knives, I've done a lot of comparison, and um, I've owned a lot of knives that have gone over the price of 60 to £100, pound, and this is the, not the, not the best one, not by far, but the best one for the lowest price. So, let's show it. This is the aluminium lock knife, and that is its name. It has no other name, no special, um, like, Bushman or anything like that. No, this is just called the aluminium lock knife. It's made by Ancient Warrior. Hmm. Ancient Warrior. If you can just see that there, maybe you can, maybe you can't. That's the laser engraved logo from Ancient Warrior. Now, let me go through why I think this is the best knife that you can buy for the cheapest price. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying this is the best knife. You can easily go out and buy a cold steel knife, or you can go out and buy a UNSC, UMSC knife, and that'll do everything this can do so much better, and it'll be more reliable, but it's just for the price of this. So, let's, let's go for the price, actually. Uh, this is standardly £5. I'm recording this in January, so at the moment this is £2 in the January sales. And I think these sales are meant to carry on some, sometime in February as well, which is kind of daft, but still. That's £2. £2 for a lock knife. That is 7.5 inches in, di in overall length. I'll go for the, I'll go for the uh, material. The frame here is made of aluminium and it's not this low grade shit as well, this is, this is pretty good. It's made of a stainless steel blade and it's made of a aluminium belt clip. Now I know when you hear like the word aluminium in knives you don't think it's the most reliable thing in the world and I'll be honest it isn't obviously but it's most reliable for two pound. I mean if, if I show you one second what I'm about to show you is my UK everyday carry and this is on my keys this little bad boy which I'll be doing a, a review on later in life that cost me about five pound now you look at the size comparison between that and that I'm not holding them further away that's the exact same this bad boy is like two and a half inches overall um, when closed, so two and a half inches when closed, and about three point five when overall opened. But you'll see that in review later in life. And that, while looking like a nice little knife, cost me about five pound. But let me go for the reasons why I think this is really good. You have the liner lock system. It comes with a belt clip, a thumb stud. The frame is comfortable in the hand. It even has a jimping for your thumb. I mean. What other knife at £2 has that? Obviously you won't get the lanyard included. I made that out of some spare power cord. I have my, uh, one of my air rifles. Now, when you get this, I ordered this from uh, Blades and Bows. Link in the description. Um, they have a, It's a great site, by the way. If you live in the UK and you want to pick up an EDC, or you want to pick up um, a great little hunting knife, camping knife, you, you should go there. It's a great, great company. So, why I think this is great. One, if you break it, there are, it's so easy to just get replace it. Every bolt is Allen keyed on, meaning if oh no, my line of lock does snap on this knife, or you know I my line of lock starts chipping away after a few years. I'm gonna say years because this thing looks reliable as well. I mean, you could literally go and buy another one brand new, and if you wanted to replace the blade, replace the frame, just Allen keel this off. But then you'd have a new one for the same price. You'd have spares for these everywhere. What I like about this is the lock is strong. You get absolutely no blade play at all. And oh, I just can't believe the quality you get with this knife. 
at such a low price. I say it's comfortable in the hand, it is quite comfortable in the hand. It could have been more comfortable obviously, but for £2 I'm not going to scream at it for not being as comfortable knife I've ever held. Um, the, if I close that. Um, it's pretty safe, if you look here. It kind of has like a retention spring to bring it back. I don't know, I might have broke mine. But it kind of has, and you can fit it snap back into place. Meaning it's not going to fall out. Thumb stud works perfectly. It's really easy to open. As I've said, the liner lock system, it's really simple, really reliable, really easy to open as well. One thing I hate about most liner locks is, I'll show you now, when you have a liner lock knife, um, sometimes the liner lock itself is really hard to kind of get. Sometimes you just like push your finger in there, or sometimes you got to really work at it, sometimes you got to have to hold the blade with two hands and put your finger in there. With this, it's so simple. One thing, I'll get my thumb, you've got a little finger groove cut open. And that's nice when you're holding it as well because your thumb fits in there pretty nice. But it's a nice little open space for your thumb to get in there and just press the line lock. I just, I can't believe how much quality is in this blade for such a price. It's, it's £2, £5 on the average day, but £2 if you buy it from Blades and Bows now. Blades and Bows now. And let's just think for a second, what do you spend £2 on? So, um, £2, for example, at lunch at work, you work a dead end job and every day you have to buy lunch. You probably go for something fast, something cheap, McDonald's. That comes to more than £2. Think about it, for one McDonald's, you could have one of these. And look at this, this is, this is actually beautiful. It's a nice looking knife. Really, really cheap. Now, I've used this a few times. I, I use this daily. I don't, it's not my ADC, obviously, because being living in the UK, we cannot carry lock knives. Yes, I know of you Americans watching, it's funny, I know. Our country is a bit weird, but we can't carry lock knives, which is why I have to carry this one. Uh, Non-locking just opens. But after being used, if you look at that, I still razor sharp. Um, granted that I haven't used it a lot, this is for me a box cutter, uh, an opener, and I've used it for a few things outside, sharpening some wood. But... I was thinking that this wasn't even going to be able to put up any kind of fight. And just look at that. It comes razor sharp out of the box when you buy it from um, Blades, and Bro Blades and Bows. It's razor sharp. Oh, it's, it's just it's just such a lovely knife. So I might sound like I'm really going on about it, but I really do love this. I think if you are over the age of 18, you're looking to buy your first knife for a collection, something practical or maybe you want your first line of lock that this is perfect for you the fact that it's interchangeable parts it has a stainless steel blade granted not the best steel on the market I'll admit that you could probably go with some carbon or O1 or something like that but still I wouldn't really expect anything like that from a blade that cost me two pound um, the one thing that surprised me, really, the one thing that really surprised me on this blade that I was not expecting was, well, the few things really was the thumb stud. I did not expect a thumb stud. I did not expect a belt loop. I expected for two pound just the frame, the blade, and the mechanism, the lock. That was all I expected. Just to have all these little extras that are on, you know, most blades now. It's just really, really. It's a nice touch from Blades and Bros. I, f I could have felt like I could have left a, um, a text review, but I meant to video in few instead. The jimping feels really nice, really grasps your thumb. But I think I've tried to convince you enough now that the knife is really good. In my opinion, one of the, no, the best, in my opinion, the best knife you can buy for £2. If you can find me a better knife that you can buy for £2, I challenge you right now, if you can find me a better knife for £2, in dollar, in dollars, I think that's like $3 and something, $3.60, maybe $4, honestly, repost it, send me a link, and I'll buy it as well and do a review on that, but to this day, in my eyes, this is the best knife. Anyway, YouTube, 
out. <laughs>